Managing Director, NLNG Ship Management Limited, Temi Lolafetai Oksanja in this interview with Iromasil Abiodun, posits that NLNG now has the capacity to man and supervise the construction of ships. Excerpts, I want to start by asking what is responsible for the lack of manpower in the maritime sector. You started as a cadet and now a master mariner, can you tell us your experience, where we got it wrong as a nation and what should be done to remedy the situation? This question actually goes to the root of maritime depreciation, or what I refer to as manpower supply and decline. I have a very important saying, which I believe will make every one of us to know how it is happening. I always say to people things don't just happen, people make things happen. If you don't deliberately make things to happen, it will never happen. There was a time in this country where the government under the auspices of Nigeria National Shipping Line, NNSL, Nigeria Ports Authority, NPA, Green Line and others believed that the maritime industry was very key, especially when you consider the ability of these aforementioned entities to bring in foreign reserves. Government decided that it is going to involve itself in the training and development of maritime manpower, and in conjunction with the NNSL, NPA and other private companies. In fact Green Line was owned by late chief Fula Io at that time. They put in place the process of training cadets and developing officers. This was how a lot of Nigeria officers and cadets were developed. At that time, we had about 10 old ships built in Germany. The government went further to establish a maritime college in Oran, Aqua Ibum State in 1982. Also, at that time government directed the NNSL and other shipping companies to start training cadets. The first sets of cadets were recruited by the Ministry of Transport who actually established that college. They recruited people because they knew that they had to show example to the shipping companies that they are serious about increasing capacity of locally trained people. Before then, all the cadets were trained abroad. Many of my predecessors were been trained abroad. In view of that development these shipping companies have seen that the government was serious about the agreement to send whichever cadet they recruit to the new maritime college. This was how I was recruited by the NNSL. We were supposed to take in abroad, we were given sound training for three years, paramilitary, navigation and every other training. The school then was being managed by United Nations, the United Nations Development Program, UNDP. We had many lecturers that were foreigners and some were Nigerians. Among the first three batches I was the first to receive my captain certification. What we saw then was that a lot of Nigerians were produced and at that time, the federal government bought an additional 14 new ships built in Yugoslavia and South Korea. They were able to man those ships without having to employ foreigners. The NNSL was one of the biggest shipping lines at that time with almost about 24 ships. But unfortunately things went into reverse after the military coup.